This is a concussion. A concussion is a type of brain injury. You can't see it. You may not have a bump, a bruise, or even a scratch on your head. All that has to happen for you to get a concussion is for your brain to move around inside your skull. You don't even have to get hit on the head. A jolt or hard slam to your body can make your brain bounce back and forth against the inside of your skull. Getting a concussion doesn't always mean you get knocked out. Less than 1 in 10 people who get a concussion ever lose consciousness. And you can get a concussion in any sport or physical activity, even skateboarding, biking, or snowboarding. The number of sports and recreation concussions every year could be as high as 3.8 million. That's more than the total number of hairs on every monkey ever shot into space in the last 50 years. So what do you do if you feel like you've got a concussion? You could have symptoms like confusion, headache, dizziness, nausea, fatigue, or a general foggy feeling, like your brain has a bad Wi-Fi connection. It's important to report it to your coach, your athletic trainer, your parents, or even a teammate right away. Otherwise, you may end up like Mike. Mike played football. Mike was the team's star player. But after he got a concussion, he continued to play as if he was okay. Bad idea. Since then, things got kind of funny. He thought he was fine, but Mike started having headaches and had a hard time doing the things he used to do, like playing video games. Mike should have told his coach, athletic trainer, or parent and got himself out of the game right away. If you think you may have had a concussion, it's important to see a doctor or a medical professional with experience in sports concussion and not return to activities until they say it's okay. Your brain needs to rest in order to heal. If you don't rest, you could wind up like Jessica. Jessica was an all-star softball player, straight A's, busy social life. In her last game, Jessica slid head first into home plate and her coach took her out of the game because she thought she got a concussion. But she didn't make the right decisions after the game. She didn't get checked out by a healthcare professional, tell her parents about her symptoms, or take the time to rest her mind and her body. Pretty soon, things got weird for her, too. Her social life suffered, and she started to forget things, like her date with her boyfriend. So if you don't recognize a concussion, report the symptoms, and take the time to rest, you could miss out on a lot in school, in sports, and in your social life. Concussions can make you moody, too. You might get angry, cry, or act just plain weird for no reason. And you may not even enjoy doing the things you used to like doing. Take the time to rest up completely after a concussion. That may mean no driving, TV, internet, texting, or video games. It's not fun, but it will get you better faster. So, if you think you might have a concussion, remember to... 1. Recognize. Know the symptoms and signs of concussion for yourself and your teammates. 2. Report. Tell your coach, athletic trainer, or parents about your symptoms. Get out of the game. Staying in could make it worse for you and your team. And 3. Rest. That means taking time off from sports, your usual activities, and maybe even schoolwork until your doctor or other medical professional says it's okay. But don't worry. Your teammates will step up while you're out, and your teachers can help you. Check out the website for more info on how to get over a concussion and get back in the game. <laughs>